All right, next up, I think I want to test the Fernando, Fernando. nerf. Because Fernando, as you know, got Aegis put into base kit. And that makes him ridiculously strong, because now he can play Scorch, get superior damage, superior ult charge, and he can also have the ability to toggle his shield on and off. That that extra utility on the shield is huge. And so what they've done in the hotfix is they have nerfed the amount of damage he has on the shield from 4,500 to 3,500. 1,000 health, just gone. Chopped off. Which is a big deal. That's a lot of health to lose. It also means the shield will scale worse with Guardian. So... Yeah, if you want to play Scorch now for that increased damage and that increased ultimate charge, you're going to have to accept that your shield is going to be a lot weaker. And you're going to have to have better shield management, but you're also going to have to have better positioning, so that way you don't die. It's going to force Fernando players to be a bit more skillful. However, if you still want a massive shield, Aegis remains untouched. Aegis still increases the health of the shield to 5,500. So it's now a 2,000 health increase, making it very, team. very savory it is like a if you team, want to be the type of Fernando who's cringe and a shield bots. Uh, or you just need the protection because you're like solo tank, point tanking, or whatever. So, yeah. Age is still very, very strong shield, but now with Scorch, we're going to have a weaker shield. And that's what we're going to test here. I'm going to play some Scorch, as I normally do. Very aggro. Duh. I'm playing Fernando. And, uh... Yeah, we'll just see how the difference feels. No Guardian, I don't usually buy Guardian. I'm just going to play him as I normally do, as you've seen in my recent Fernando videos and Ranked and whatever. So, should be still very fun, and I think he'll still be very good. But you have to be more careful now. Another reason why the health nerf is so impactful is because of the actual size of the shield. Like, this shield is much more likely to take damage than something like, I don't know, Khan's shield, right? Because it's larger, it catches more stray bullets and whatnot. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I really feel like this is a very substantial nerf, but well-deserved, considering how strong he's been. All right, let's shield. Wow, that popped really fast. Okay. I would have had a thousand extra health to tank there, but no, I had to put the shield down really quick. Okay. Rom's dead, that's good. Shield's recharged, back up to full. Let me throw a fireball at Barrack. There we go. All right, let's play a bit aggressive here. Fireball. Sins on me. That's okay. Do some more damage. Got the totems here, thankfully. Let me throw that fireball and dead. Fireball. There we go. Get that ultimate charge. Piercing damage. If I just keep both of them on the fire in the beam, I'm going to get a lot of ultimate charge. And we are pretty close to full right now. So look at that. As Fernando, the champion is supposed to have a pretty slow ultimate charge rate. With Scorch, we are still able to be the first person on the team to get my ultimate. Even beating Willow against Rom, mind you. That's the real thing I think needed to be nerfed about Fernando. Yeah, it nerfed his shield a little bit. I think that's okay. But I think that ultimate charge is pretty insane. Ooh. That was a bit of a panic ult. My healer is dead, so I'm just going to run away. And hope they don't chase. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, his ultimate is one of the most powerful in the game. It should have a slower ultimate charge than that, I think. And yeah, with Aegis and Formidable, to a lesser extent Formidable, because you still do more damage to that. But with those other two talents, yeah, you do get less ultimate charge. It is harder to build your ult. I mean, I suppose what they could do is maybe, like, nerf the amount of ultimate charge you get from the fireball, and that would be okay. But I, I really think that that would be a sensible way to keep him in check. Keep the damage... Keep the cooldown reduction. It's fun to play Fernando aggro, and I think that's the healthiest state he can be in for the game. But yeah, make him be more careful with those ultimates is what I would say. All right, let's pop around here. Fireball. Hold up the shield, and we got another fireball. <laughs> There's nothing she can do about it because she got nerfed. Uh -huh. Pranked. All right, break down the barrack. We got the totem still. Definitely get some reju from that later, and the subservience rom. I'll just stay up here, try and keep them in spawn where I can. Ooh, mispredicted that fireball. Stop stunning me. Unacceptable. Take this fireball. Go away. Look at that. I've already got my ult back. That is just absurd. It's a bit easier to build ultimate charge against this team, admittedly, because they have a ROM. But, still. It's a bit much. All right, let's block those three ults. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, poor Delta's dead. 
Sun's gonna go out. Rom's dead. Good. Throw that fireball. Try and block that. Oh, I did not block successfully for Grok. Alright, I have to put the shield down. Gonna charge through him. He's so low. Fireball. Alright, good job, Grok. Let me stay in those totems. Ooh, my shield's really struggling right now. Oh, I wasn't able to put it up in time. That's definitely... I'm definitely feeling the nerf with that right there. A lot less protection from the shield. He started playing Paladins in between Overwatch queues and is enjoying it more than Overwatch? Who? Also, how can you play a Paladins match in between Overwatch queues? Are they really that long? Oh, Samito. Oh, I see. Well, hey, I'm down to I'm down to collab with any Overwatch creator who wants to do Paladin stuff. I mean, Samito, Flaps, whoever. 20-minute queue? How do you get a 20-minute queue in Overwatch? Isn't that game supposed to be, like, way more populated than Paladins? I know at the top level of Paladins, queues can reach similar lengths, but, like, Paladins is way smaller than Overwatch. That's a bit silly. Alright, we're almost to another ultimate, and I just used it in the last payload push. Relatively towards the end. There we go, gotcha. Oh, missed that fireball, but they were both really low here. Was not able to hit that charge, but Barrack should be dead. Throw the fireball. Oh, there's Zin. You should have left when you had the chance. Fireball. Well, bam. Alright, let's let the shield recharge. Enemies behind us. Okay, I'll just hold the line up here. Fireball. Hits one. Block some of that. There's another fireball. Keep her in cauterized there. Block the big attack. Ooh, Scorch Pierce. Block that. Shield. Fireball. Okay, and then we retreat. Let the Grok Totems heal us. We're good. <laughs> oh, boy. Those Zomba heals are really keeping her alive, though. Oh, my ultimate wasn't fast enough. Okay. Big sad. For one versus two, that wasn't terrible. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I needed Cauterize to ramp up a bit faster. Let me pop in here. Throw a fireball at Barrack. Looks like he crashed. I guess I'll take him out. Block some more damage. Miss the fireball. Alright, shield a little bit. Wow, that died fast. She's got Wrecker as well. That's another thing that's really hurting my shield right now. Ooh, wasn't able to pierce on Damba. He's enjoying playing Maeve. Yo, based. Maeve is one of the most fun flanks in the game. Can't blame him. <laughs> I think it's really cool how the uh, Overwatch streamers gravitated towards the cultured champions. Like, Flats enjoyed Imani. That's, like, one of the most base champions in the game. Very cool. All right, there we go. Push successful. Nice. Now that there's a new rank as well, they changed comp matchmaking. Solo players will not be able to go up against grouped up players, or less likely. Oh, okay. So, I guess the matchmaking is stricter. Yeah, that would do it. That's still so funny. Play an entire match of Paladins in your Overwatch queue? That's just insane. All right. You have to try Guardian on Nando to see if it's worth. Well, I can already tell you that it's going to be proportionally weaker than it was before. It's definitely worth it on Aegis, because you have a massive health pool to increase. This is a percent-based increase, though, so 45% extra of 3,500. I could see us getting about 1,200-ish. Uh, maybe like 1,100 extra shield health on the shield, which would be beneficial, but... They're buying Wrecker. I think it's just more beneficial for me to buy for items like Morale Boost instead. Rejuvenate, Nimble. Those types of items. Because those are really good. And his ultimate will provide more value than his shield, I think. Uh, on Scorch, anyways. On Aegis, yeah, you can buy Guardian. You know what? I'm just going to 1v1 Rom. Come back here. Hello. Fireball. I win this. Oh, I have a Willow, too. It's not much of a 1v1, is it? <laughs> okay. Well, let's get back to the point. Here, I'll shield a little bit. Yeah, there's an ult there. Here, I'll just block some damage. Throw Fireball back at Damba. There's some damage. Dash. Try and clip that Damba. There we go. Perfect. Extra ult charge. Ooh, I missed that. Reload. Oh, I missed both of them. Bad Fireball. Ooh, knocking me into the range of Zin there. Damba got another ultimate really fast. We must have been standing in the door. There goes Rom. Let me shield for you a little bit, and that's GG. Perfect. So yeah, Fernando's still very strong if you know how to play him well. But 
this is a very impactful nerf. You will definitely notice it, and you have to play a lot more deliberately with your positioning now, and you have to have much better shield management now. Because bear in mind, if your shield gets all the way destroyed, it's going to take longer to regenerate. So one good tactic is to put down your shield right before it gets destroyed, but when you have less health to work with, it's harder to do that. So in general, yeah, impactful nerf, noticeable, deserved, and I think he's still pretty good. Uh, we were able to get 8 kills there, 74,000 damage, still a very powerful damage dealer. You just gotta be more careful now. Hey.